Psalm 121 I will lift up my eyes to the hills, from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Lord, we honour you today, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, that you are our help, Lord God. You are our help, Lord. And all we need to do is look to you and call on you, Lord, and you will come and you will rescue us, Lord. Lord, you will change our situations. Lord, you will be with us. Lord, you will carry us through difficult times. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you are the help of those who seek you. And Lord, as your believers today, Lord, we seek you, Lord, and we just want to pour our praise out to you, Lord. Lord, we just want to say, Lord, we know that you're our helper. We want to thank you, Lord, for that prominent position you have in our lives. Lord, we are nothing without you. We are absolutely nothing without you. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you keep us. You keep us in perfect peace, Lord. You give us rest in our minds, rest in our body, rest in our emotions, Lord, when we sit and focus on who you are. Lord, when we stop and we listen to who you are. Lord, when we stand and we think about who you are, Lord, we're reminded, Lord God, that you are the Lord. Lord, you are the keeper who keeps us in perfect peace. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you preserve us also, Lord. Lord, we just ask, Lord, that you would preserve us this week, Lord. Lord, you would strengthen us, Lord, that we would operate from a place of peace, Lord. We would operate from a deep place within us, Lord, where you dwell. Lord, we wouldn't do things in our own strength. Instead, Lord, we would consult you, Lord God. Lord, we would understand that you are the one that keeps us. You are the one that preserves us, that gives us breath, that gives us life. Lord, today we just focus on who you are, Lord. We focus on the power of your Holy Spirit. Lord, we focus on the love that you pour out to your children and you pour out to those who even deny you and say you don't exist. Lord, you are a God who exercises grace, common grace over us all. And Lord, we're truly grateful. We're truly grateful, Lord God. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you are reminding us also, Lord God, that when we are in times of difficulty or struggle, Lord, we just need to look up. We just need to look up, up to the hills. We need to look up above the situation and we need to call out to you. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you are the God that is above every situation. Lord, where we think that we need some sort of human intervention, remind us, Lord, that actually all we need is your miraculous intervention. We need your miraculous hand to change things, Lord, because you made heaven and earth, Lord, and you have everything in your hands, every power in your hands to change situations, to give us wisdom, to give us knowledge, to give us understanding, to help us see things from your perspective, Lord. Lord, help us to operate with you in mind at all times, Lord. Lord, we're just meditating on this scripture today. Lord, You are the God who helps those who seek you. You are the God who helps those who seek you, Lord. So let us never be found not seeking you. Let us never be found doing the opposite, doing things in our own strength. Lord, help us to seek you in all we do. Help us to honour you in all we do. Help us, Lord, to stand firm to not allow our feet to be moved all over the place. Instead, Lord, let us be firmly placed, firmly positioned, ready for battle, ready for what you're going to do, ready for your help to come. Instead of racing around and rushing around to and throw like headless chickens, Lord God, instead, let us stand, let our feet not be moved, knowing that our help comes from when we look up. When we look up to the hills, our Lord is gonna come through for us. We don't need to run around like we have no hope. Instead, Lord, I pray today that for everyone on this prayer, Lord, you would be stilling our hearts. Still our hearts, Lord. Lord, would you give us the peace of God? Would you give us your peace, Lord? Your shalom, Lord God. 
breathe your peace over us today, Lord God. Lord, we know where our help comes from. It comes from you. And so, Lord, we thank you, Lord, that your peace will rest on our hearts and our minds. And our minds will be stayed on you, Christ. And we will remain in perfect, perfect peace. In Jesus' name I've prayed. Amen.